So here we were, selling rhino overseas, but the proceeds were used to furnish and to uh, finance the um, translocations locally, which was even more important because it meant we were establishing the rhinos back in their home range and consolidating their status in areas that were previously um, where they'd been completely decimated. In 1972, we were faced with a prospect, I think there was something like 1,800 rhino now in Amphalosi, which was something like four to 500 rhino above carrying capacity. This led the biological research officers to inform us that eco ecological integrity of the habitat was now threatened and that we had to move quickly to bring that population down to its carrying capacity. And that's when we punted the idea of putting them on the hunting list. The board was, after a great deal of acrimonious debate, persuaded to remove the white runner from a specially protected status to protected status where they could be hunted under controlled conditions and a permit. That was the beginning of, the, of a whole new era in, this, in conservation in this country. And again here, we owe it to the white rhino. It's a tremendous debt that we owe them. Because what happened was ranchers very quickly saw, cattle ranchers very quickly saw that this was an economic thing. I mean, Americans were coming, Europeans were coming, paying $20,000 to shoot a white rhino. The guys were taking the money and then putting it back into the land. And then as the land uh, area increased, they needed more rhino. So this just led to this incredible uh, increase in the number of, 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 of not only of, of white rhino, but of, of land. And a whole new, I don't like the word industry in talking about game, but it was, it was in fact a whole new industry. And I can remember before that happening, before the animal was moved onto the protected list from specially protected, a prominent commercial rancher coming into my office uh, with an order for Impala, Inyala, Wildebeest and Zebra to stock his, his new game ranch. And his reaction to my suggestion that he might like to take a few white rhino um, at a special price since we had a growing surplus and we um, would like him to take a few to establish a herd on his property. He turned around and he said, what do I want those bloody things for? All they do is they break fences and they cause bad, uh, bad neighbor relations. I don't want them. And I said, will you take them at 200 Rand each delivered? And he said, I'm not interested. I can't use them. They have on no use to me whatsoever. Those pioneers in the hunting industry set the scene. They acted as the catalyst for what was to become a massive industry throughout a multi-billion rand industry in South Africa. From 200 rand each delivered, within 10 years there were 250,000 rand each as more and more farmers and um, agriculturalists on marginal land took the move and saw the gap and invested in fences and restocking of ranches formerly farmed under goats and cattle.